we're back in building 37. As you can see, it's really quiet right now. It's because it's actually really, really early, but it's about to get really busy here. Um, today, when you see this video, we will have announced RTM or released to manufacturing of Windows 7. Today, one, what I want to do is take you in to talk to one of the build engineers, one of the guys that works in the build lab where they compile the source code every day that makes up the daily builds of Windows 7. Um, Let's go in and uh, talk to them and see what they have to say about the whole build process for an operating system. All right, this is Adam from Edge. I'm back in building 37. This time I'm with Ishvan. How you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? All right, I'm good. Tell me what you do. Um, I'm Ishvan Cherry. I work in the Windows main build lab. Um, where essentially, it's basically the main point where all the code throughout Windows gets combined at the end of the product cycle, or actually even going through the product cycle. Um, we're basically the main lab for all of Windows. That's why we're called the Windows Main Build Lab. Okay, so there's a little bit of attention on you guys right now. Yeah, we, we actually see a lot of pressure throughout the product cycle, and in fact, um, especially near the end of the milestones is when there's a lot of eyes on us and uh, a lot of speculation throughout the internet on what our next build number is going to be and all this, all this sort of stuff. It's actually very interesting. Yeah, so, so tell me a little bit about the build process. I don't know, a lot of people may not be familiar with it. This idea of build numbers, where does that come from, and how do, we, how do you go about building an operating system? Um, building the operating system itself is rather automated. It's a pretty automated process. I mean, we pretty much just kick it off and it starts going. Um, we increment the build number before every build. It's just part of our standard policy. Um, we're the only ones who increment the build number, and then certain other labs that take build stuff from us all get that build number, and they just spin off that. Um, there's actually 120 different labs that basically take what we produce and do their own little variations off of it, and that's how the code flow works in Windows. Okay. So, I mean, are you doing builds every day? What is it? I mean, every, every weekday, yes. Um, we, we try to, assuming that there's no catastrophic issue, we try to spin every day. Okay. So, how many changes do you see on a given day, or what's, what's, how much do, do builds vi vary from, from one day to the next? It, it varies greatly depending on where we are in the product cycle, but earlier on we can see Definitely some changes varying from a single check-in to some days where we have 100,000 different changes. 100,000 changes in a day? That's right. Okay. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the infrastructure it takes to do the build? Is this, have we got one machine that compiles all this? No, we have approximately 30 different machines um, for our lab alone. Um, each, there are four different, has probably about 1,000 machines or so. Um, building all these various different branches and things like that. Okay. So it is a massive infrastructure that we have building Windows. Wow. Insanely massive. How, how long does it take? How long does it take to compile? Um, approximately, uh, well, there is some dependencies when we're compiling. So approximately from the start of when we start the first build to the end is about 12 hours just compiling and doing other stuff based on the compile. Okay. So the code gets checked in daily and it takes a good chunk of the day to, to compile the next build. Definitely, yeah. Increment that build number. All right. What are some other interesting stats you can share with us about the, about the build? Um, each build that we produce, us, the main lab, is approximately 13 terabytes. Wow. Because we produce over 3,300 individual ISOs. It's, it's Why so massive. Many? Is, it, is that just all the different languages and different... Yes, uh, it's, it's the different languages, different SKUs. Um, some of them are client, some of them are server, and each of them are now on their own individual disk. Okay. So, all right, so we've got all the different versions of Windows 7, Professional and Ultimate and things like that. Exactly. And then you've got all the different server builds as well. I mean, does that That's include right. things like HPC Edition and... Exactly. Server, Hyper-V, all that different stuff. Gotcha. Okay, so it's all right. Basically, anything that's considered Windows Server 2008 R2 or Windows 7 just came from us in the main build lab. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting to be this close to shipping and just considering how much stuff we've produced. It's very okay. exciting. So, I mean, we're announced that by the time this video goes out, we'll, we'll have RTM'd Windows 7. Is that a lot of late hours for you guys over the last minute? <laughs> Definitely. Um, I also ran uh, the Windows main burn lab, so I produced over 2,000 disks for test teams. And the last week has been pretty hectic. Oh, we didn't even talk about that. So in addition to the build lab, you've got a burn lab. That's right. Yeah. Which is, is that just what it sounds like? You just yeah, we, we, just, disks? we just burn some disks for individual test teams. Just a few? Like that. Just yeah. Just, just a few thousand, that's okay. <laughs> 
But yeah, I mean, throughout the product cycle, we were producing discs for people who want to pick it up. Sometimes it's executives, sometimes it's, you know, average testers, but it's pretty exciting. So is that every one of those daily builds you were burning, you were pressing DVDs for? Yes. Wow. Yeah. So I've, I have quite an archive of them, but, you know, <laughs> um, it's, just, it's just amazing to look back and see how the product cycle has progressed Windows 7, just to see the, all the changes and stuff like that. That's the most exciting part of build, it's just to watch all the changes come in and see the individual changes in the actual build. Right. I'm sure seeing the evolution from when... Um, I've been here since approximately September of 2007, so I've been here for... Well, I started as a contractor, but then right. I became an FTE. So, I mean, so you, that was, we were still, it was still Vista then, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were, we were finishing up Vista SP1 before we were transitioning to Win 7. So, so you've been here the whole, the whole life cycle of Windows 7 has been... Approximately, been yeah. I've, I've been here for, since we started building it. It's very exciting. So you've seen, seen from the, okay, all the way through all the betas, all the way to this, this last build. It's cool. Yep. Right. And I was self-hosting the whole time. It was actually quite fun <laughs> to watch the, watch the build. Self-hosting. So that's interesting. Did you put the daily build on every day? I tried to, yeah. Yeah, there was times when I couldn't get media or the release servers didn't quite work out, but uh, yeah, I tried to upgrade as often as I could, that's cool. and it worked the whole time. Very cool. Yeah, that's certainly been my experience. I mean, even from the, the technical preview back in October, which was the first kind of available outside the Windows Steam build, it was, I mean, it was solid back then, and I've just seen the same kind of improvements over the last eight months or so. Yeah. This is cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Um... So some other random trivia, um, we run about 30 machines to run a full build. Mm -hmm. Because there's 36 languages, we can't run all 36 languages on the same machine or it would take forever. So we actually distributed out, we have one main machine for 32-bit architectures and then we have about eight strewn off that and then we have another machine for 64-bit architectures and another eight strewn off that. And we have another machine for itanium and another three strewn off that and it's just massive. It's just massive how much code we compile on a daily basis. Just totally amazing. Very cool. Ishvan, this is really cool. Um, like I said, we're, we're excited about Windows 7. I've enjoyed everything we've seen. Appreciate the hard work of people be like you that have been behind the scenes making it all happen. So thanks for your time today, especially you know right in the middle of things when you guys are getting ready to uh, to get an RTM. Thanks for taking time out for us. No, no problem, Adam. Thanks for coming by. Thanks.